Good afternoon and welcome to a WNCT Now digital news update. I'm Kayla Schmidt. Washington police say they have identified one of the suspects in an overnight shooting. Shots were fired around 3 this morning near the intersection of North Respress and 9th Street. Officers say Christopher Cleveland of Washington is one of the suspects wanted, but he is not in custody. Investigators believe two other suspects were involved in an alleged armed robbery that ended in the shooting of two people. Washington police are asking for the public to call them with any information. The investigation continues into the disappearance of 30-year-old Elizabeth Spencer, but search crews are no longer holding an active search. Last week, search crews searched for clues to Spencer's whereabouts in Jones County near Pollocksville. Dive crews searched the Trent River but did not find anything. Investigators say there have been no changes in the case since Thursday. Any information should be directed to the North Carolina SBI. We're going to take a quick break and be back with some more news before the newscast. A lot of things have changed for me and my family. We continue to order takeout and delivery from local restaurants. I'm a huge advocate for local businesses. I think what a lot of us in the community want to say to local business owners and community members, we're all with you, not just during this, but throughout the rest of the year and the years to come. This is going to be an adjustment for everyone. And I think, you know, supporting each other is the best thing that we can do as we continue. And your side reporters are all across the East and in your neighborhood. In Tarboro. In Kinston. In Greenville. At Atlantic Beach. Covering local stories that impact you. The groundbreaking ceremony is the beginning of construction for Moorhead City's fourth City Hall. People from all over the state of North Carolina gathered at the Sycamore Hill Missionary Baptist Church. Historic Turnage Theater in Washington helps the community celebrate art and culture. See their original reporting weekdays on 9 and Your Side News. Welcome back and thanks for staying with us. I'm Kayla Schmidt. Across North Carolina, Governor Cooper has signed a law that will help get control of North Carolina's abandoned boat problem. It's an issue nine on your side. Madison Forsey investigated back in February. After months of work, a North Carolina group is getting that money needed to get rid of these vessels. The measure gives the Wildlife Resource Commission $1 million to remove abandoned vessels, and many of these boats are untouched since Hurricane Florence, littering marshes and harbors. Again, nine on your sides, Madison Forsey. We'll have more at five and six on our newscast. And next time you go out to eat or buy groceries, you might want to think about uh, bringing exact change with you. That's because there has been a coin shortage across the country. Businesses, including ones here in the East, are experiencing that shortage. Shutdowns caused by COVID-19 disrupted the normal supply of U.S. coins. Everybody, Workers at a day. Greenville Food Line store say they've seen a drop in available coins, but say customers have been good about bringing their own coins yeah. from home to buy what they need. The Federal Reserve says the shortage should pass in the coming weeks. And ending on a yummy note, today is National Fried Chicken Day as well as Bojangles' birthday. So if you're craving for a bite of the South, today is definitely the day to indulge. Stay with us because at 5, our newscast will begin. For now, I'm Kayla Schmidt in the digital studio. Thanks for watching.